welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be sharing the best and the easiest way to upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 on unsupported hardware so if you are using windows 10 where it doesn't support the minimum pc requirement for windows 11 still you can upgrade it and the best part is that you don't have to use any kind of third party tool and even you will not be losing any kind of your data so before starting make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel it motivates me a lot to create more and more amazing and useful videos for you without any delay let's quickly get started first you will have to bring up any of your favorite browser like google chrome and in the search you have to type windows 11 iso download now this will be windows 11 23h2 that is the latest version so once you come up here you have to click on the first link download windows 11 and here you can see it says current release windows 11 2023 update version 23h2 so once you come up here you have to scroll down to download windows 11 disk image click on the drop down choose windows 11 multi edition iso click on download now select the product language click on confirm and then click on 64 bit download so the downloading will be now started so it's around 6.2 gigabyte and it will take some time so make sure that you have some patience and wait until it's all been done but you can see that i have already downloaded it to save the time so next what you will have to do once the iso has been downloaded you need to bring up your file explorer then from the left in menu option click on this pc then go to local disk c now here on the blank space make a right click Hover up to new choose folder and name it as like win 11 or windows 11 once you have created now you have to go to the download where you have downloaded the windows 11 iso right click on the windows 11 iso then click on mount click on open and now you need to copy all these files so press ctrl a from your keyboard right click on it and choose copy now go back to the location on c drive where you created a folder by the name windows 11 double click on it and paste all the file over here so this will take some time so you will have to wait until all the files are being copied okay so once all the files are copied we are completed with the step number one now you can close it now next you have to click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here we have to locate to the location where we have a save windows 11 folder so again if i bring up my file explorer go to this pc c drive so this is where we have saved the windows 11 iso file in this windows 11 folder so it's in c drive so what i have to type in the command prompt you also need to do the same c colon back for a slash then you have to type the name of the folder that is windows 11 i will type windows 11 back for a slash setup dot exe then give a forward slash then type product space server okay so this command you will also find in the description you can copy and paste only what you will have to change in case if you change this windows 11 name okay and if you keep as it is then you have to simply paste it over here once done you have to hit the enter key and this kind of windows preparing screen will now be coming up so i can minimize everything now it says install windows server so you don't have to worry about it because it will be installing windows 11 so here what you have to do click on next now this will be checking for the update now in case if you have a question in your mind that will it update my windows 11 or not if i upgrade it yes it will update your windows 11 in the future all right so let's wait here until the updates are being done so that we can proceed with the next step so now here you have to click on accept and here it says choose what to keep so if you want to keep all your files, setting game and application then you can go with the first option if you want to keep only the personal file not the setting application then you can go with the second one and in case if you want to delete everything then you can go with the third option but in this video i'm sharing that how you have to upgrade from windows 10 to 11 
without losing any data so i will keep this selected to first option then you have to click on next okay and now you can see it says ready to install it says install windows 11 pro key file setting and app so it will be installing windows 11 pro without losing any kind of file setting and application finally you will have to click on install and the installation will now be started now you also might have a question in your mind that why it didn't ask for any kind of product activation key so if your windows 10 is already activated it will not be asking for windows 11 product key All right, so finally you will come to this screen then you have to click on next accept and here it goes so finally you can see that our windows 10 has been successfully upgraded to windows 11 and now if i go ahead and check the version so i will type winver so you can see it's windows 11 and it says version 23h2 right and the windows 11 pro operating system Okay, so this is how you can quickly upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without using any kind of tool. And I'm very sure that none of the data has been deleted. You can see all kind of application that I had on Windows 10. It's remaining on my Windows 11. Even if I talk about my data, so you can see these all the ISO that we downloaded, they still exist over here. Now, due to any reason, if you want to revert the action, if you want to go back to Windows 10 from Windows 11, then what you will have to do, right click on the windows icon, go to settings, from the left hand menu option, click on system, then scroll down and you will find recovery option, click on recovery, and here you will find the go back option. Now keep in mind that you will have only 10 days to go back to windows 10. Okay, so you can just check your windows 11, if you're comfortable, if you're okay, then you can... Uh, continue using windows 11 but in case if you want to revert back then simply come to this option click on go back and then from here you can roll back to windows 10 so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye